Okay, here I have my basic video clip already imported on the timeline. Go ahead and right click on the video you want to speed up and select the speed slash duration option. Now here at the bottom, change the drop down value from frame sampling to optical flow and confirm changes. Now right click on the clip again, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. Now, as you hold the control key, click on this line in the middle of your video clip. This will create a new splitting point with two edges that you can now separate. Now, if you click and drag the line to the right, your video clip speed curve will start changing and the length of your video clip will be automatically adjusted. As you can see here, we made it a lot shorter, but as you continue moving it around and changing the curve, the length will follow as well. Now, when you split these endpoints, you'll also notice this other controller in the middle that you can use to adjust the curvature. So you really have to be intuitive here to make sure that you are increasing the speed of your video gradually just the way you want it to based on your project and your aim. So having said that, I'm going to go back to my previous example. And so you will use this curve to gradually change the speed of your video. You can speed it up or slow down depending on how you apply changes to the curve intuitively. So now I'm going to play my video again to see what happens here. And as you can see, the car has sped up toward the end of the video.